Hey there, okay, so we're on to the next uh, part of the axe texturing, and you can see I've already made some progress here. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna take you through exactly what I've done and how I've done it. And then I'm gonna challenge you to finish it off. Um, and I'm gonna finish mine off too, and I'm gonna show you what I did. But first let's go through each section and I'll show you exactly what I did. And you can replicate it or you can try something different. Um, let's first of all let's go through the folders here's the three folders we created earlier nothing's changed here and here's the color selections we did to separate our IDs on our model um, okay so let's go through each one first of all all I did was the metal to the metal head here is add a material that's all I've done to that. It looks pretty impressive. looks pretty cool. So all I did was add a steel rust and wear. And you can find that in the materials. If you click on materials down here, scroll down to S. Uh, steel rough, steel rust. There it is. <clears throat> steel rust and wear. You can see it's replaced it because I've clicked on it. And now you can just uh, go through and play with all these values you know just do you know try and copy mine There's some denting and some dirt and you know all sorts intensity on the rust you know whatever you want to do you can do to your metal uh, your steel so I'm just going to revert mine back to what it was there we go so that's mine do what you Want to do with yours so that's all i did with a metal head i just added a material dropped it in there as a fill layer i hasten to add and um, this is the area i want you to finish off okay so the next one up is the wooden handle and that covers this top part this section down here and the very tip on the end down here um, so let's have a look inside the folder um, and you can see I've got four different layers here. Um, I've got wood beech veined at the bottom here. Then I've got another wood beech veined, and I'll explain why I have two of those in a moment. I've got a blood layer. You can see the blood smeared on the wood there with fingerprints. And I've got a dirt layer. In fact, I've only called it layer, so I need to rename that. I'll do that now. Make sure you keep your... Um, layers named correctly and and uh, obvious because you can get a, you know if you open all this up you can get really lost in all of this you know so just make sure you keep it neat and tidy named correctly so you know exactly where you are um, so that's my full layers okay so these beach veined uh, layers are smart materials so what is a smart material a smart material are these down here so if you then on your list down here on your shelf click on smart materials you'll get this all of these and they're literally what they, it says they are, are smart materials they're materials just like these that have uh, been added to they've been they've had all lots of attributes applied and um, just like we're doing we're creating one big material for this axe that's kind of what a smart material is. All this combined would be a smart material. Um, and if you click on the little folder reveal button uh, on the on the left here, you can see all the components of of, of the wood beech veined. Now you can go in and you can tweak all these values in here. Well, I don't want to do that. I've already done it uh, for my beech, but you can play with these. And yeah, and play with them and see what results you can get. However, uh, I have two here, you may notice. Why do I have two? Well, if you remember when we UV'd our axe, we rotated the UVs on the handle at the top. Let's go and have a look at 2D, 3D. So if you look at the layout, our UV layout here, this is this part here is the bigger handle here. This part here, is the top part up here and you can see it's rotated 90 degrees around the other way and this piece here is our 
bottom which is in the same direction as that which is quite handy and these are our two end pieces so what you need to do is bring in your bring in a smart material for beach lead and apply it to the handle section using you know your color selection like we've done it's already it's already assigned to your folder your main folder here um, and then add an add a mask to that beach layer and just ju and mask out everything but this section and you'll see that this is the correct orientation or it should be depending on your uh, uv layout in your model when you apply it when you look at this it might be rotated around the other way so what you need to do is mask that out bring in another layer above that one and then go in and in each of these layers here inside the wood beach veined top uh, wood beach veined i've called it top on the end here um, inside each one of these you can adjust the uv rotation you can see i've adjusted mine by 90 degrees on each of the layers and what that will do is rotate it on a material level so that it's you know appearing like as though it's facing in the right direction it gives that sense of continuity for the whole entire handle all the way out through makes it look like one continuous piece you see the way the grain's running there and it's running all the way down through and out the end so that's why i have two just to compensate for our uvs on a model uh being rotated 90 degrees so that's it really and provided you mask each one of them out on each of the layers and you can see I've got two two masks here then that's that will work and above that just got a blood layer and all that is, is a fill layer just added a fill layer added you know ch changed my base color so that it's red bloody color and I just went in and I painted at the top of the uh, wooden part next to the handle and sort of added some sort of fingery smudgy marks going down the handle there yeah and then on the top I just added some you can see this extra dirt on the top here I just added that as a regular layer not as a fill layer just as so I can paint inside it and, and uh, yeah without adding a mask basically because on these on these layers you can just paint inside the actual layer you don't need to add a mask you can't paint inside just a regular fill layer if I try painting inside that it wouldn't let me look it's got a no entry sign so I can't paint in that layer I have to paint in the mask but in a regular layer you can paint directly inside it which is quite handy okay so that is the wooden handle next is the leather strap the, the grip part of it and this is a bit more complex you can see i've got some stitching down there so i'll show you how i did that and uh, you can see it's got like a, a leathery a leathery texture on that which is pretty cool um so let's have a look inside the folder so you can see i've got a fill layer here and I've not named that either so let's just go and lay that and let's call that leather and what that is is it is a texture I went on if you click on your textures here I went on to textures.com found a really good leather and you can see it here um, cut a piece out 1024 which is fine for that that much space there and I dragged it into here, into my shelf, you know, select textures, get your leather piece, drag it into here so it appears in your textures, um, for in your textures bank here. And then create a fill layer up here and then drag your leather texture into the base color over here with that selected. And you can see I've got it here. Another way of doing it is drag it into your shelf and over here, click on that 
and you'll get the list of textures that you can apply to that layer, to that base color. And if you scroll down, you'll find the texture in there somewhere, but it's just easy to drag it over because you can see it. Let's just see if I can find it inside here. And there it is there. Look. So you can select it from there. Um, and then from the, once I had that in there, because it's quite a smooth texture, I just added a skin normal map on top of that. So if you scroll down uh, in your normal slot down here, click on it, scroll down, keep scrolling, 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 till you see a bunch of blue normal maps, not those, those. You'll see a lot of skin ones. So skin forehead, skin for, um, yeah, lots of skin. I used, what did I use? Skin cheek. Uh, but you don't have to. I use this one here, skin cheek. You can use a different one. It's entirely up to you. Um, and they all give a different sort of texture. Uh, but I quite like that. I thought that was quite smart, quite nice. And you now got a pretty cheap sort of leathery look about it which is quite cool <clears throat> so once I once I did that I just added a fill layer um, which is just dirt a dark color which I used to paint for I turn it off you can see it's just a, a layer on top but I also added a, a generator there so if you, if you click on dirt right click go down to add generator down here click on that and once you've got your generator here just click on it once come down here where it says generator click on that and choose your generator from here and you can see mg dirt right in there just click that and you'll get your dirt layer and above that another fill layer i added some paint uh, some yes I added a fill layer sorry and some red uh, I added red to the base color and then I painted blood on the bottom of the handle here you can see and there's a few splatters of it going up the handle just to give the impression that this guy's been using this it's, it's all part of the story of this of this sort of axe you know who, who does it belong to what's he been using it for it's quite gruesome or is it is he using it to hunt and to chop up his his rewards or is he um using it for something more sinister you know that's that's the intrigue and that's just part of the story of this axe so that's what we're adding this for um so that was that and obviously a mask so we can so i take if i remove that mask you'll see it just covers the whole thing in red um uh, so remove mask and we don't want that obviously so uh, just add your mask and then paint into the mask to reveal where you want the red to appear and i did it around the base of the leather handle so it looks and it appears to blend uh, with the wooden handle part and i think that works quite well and then i added stitching and this is quite relatively straightforward at the top here so just added a fill layer came down here I turned off everything except for the height map like that and then I went into my stitching and started painting so I added a mask into the stitching and then started painting inside here but make sure when you Add your mask and you start painting you adjust your height level because if you don't it won't look as though you know because it, it was at default it'd be set to there so if you paint 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 nothing's going to appear so you need to adjust the height that you want to paint and if you go the other way it looks it, it will look indented like it's gone going in to the wood can you see that um, if you go to the right it coming it comes out is quite cool I think I had it around there somewhere okay and to get these straight lines just find your stitching which is in here look it's there um, click into your make sure you've got that selected 
to get it in a nice straight line just click where you want to start press shift and you get this this dotted line go down to where you want it to end and then click and it will draw that line in a nice straight line like that I've got it on both sides yeah so that's all I did so that's the stitching um, and that's it so now what I want you to do is do this finish off this um, metal head and I want you to be creative you, you should have it at least at this stage so add some blood on it as if it's been hacking up its latest hunt um, some scratches and some dents on it you know as if it's been chopping wood uh, for years and years add some dent add some tar more tarnish to the metal if you want to maybe add a slight dented logo there or, or one there on the side but what I want, also want you to do is, is just paint into these edges if you can mask out these harsh edges and make them look a bit more like they blend with the metal a bit more because it wouldn't look quite that harsh you might have a bit more darkness in there where the wood is going into the metal and the same coming out on this side you know blend it in that's what I'm saying to you you know you can use dirt you can use whatever you want and you can see that up here I've done it with the blood on that handle and I've done it with dirt on that side and you know just looking it might be a little bit too much but this guy's got dirty hands so that's, that's my thinking I might even make this beach a little darker just to it looks a bit too new at the moment so that's your challenge go ahead and fix that up I'll do the same and in the next lecture we'll go through what I've done and hopefully you would have done the same so good luck with that and I'll see you in the next lecture